la Universidad de la Um, this thing. Okay. Good morning, guys. So we are going to do a new work today. That is uh, going to be our paper discussion. I hope that uh, you will enjoy this paper discussion here. Um, so we'll see how it is going on. Right. So 2025 students, um, here, I don't think that you are just thinking about just uh, doing, uh, you you may haven't participated for any kind of a paper class yet regarding any of the subjects. So this is uh, going to be the paper discussion, the fully paper discussion uh, going to be done completely uh, for a couple of hours. Understood? All right. So we will see how that practice is going on. Fine. First of all, uh, I hope that you have the paper with you. That is the uh, term test, grade 11, sorry, grade 12 paper, term test, first term test paper. We uh, actually, this is called the battle paper, battle paper number one. And the battle paper has been defined, sorry, battle paper has been designed by myself. Uh, in order to, as a rehearsal paper, as a practice paper for your term test. Therefore, the battle papers is going to come before a term test is coming in your ex uh, school. Understood, Buddha? So that is how it's going to be taken place. All right. That is the battle paper. Fine. Okay. So we will see uh, paper one. Now, economics paper, if you take the, now, first of all, we will look at the economics papers here. When I mean, you are just looking at the econ paper, right, advanced level econ paper. So then we have to do all the things as a practice for the advanced level econ paper. So once you are just looking at the advanced level economics paper here, advanced level economics paper, then you have to not done it. So then this is your A level economics paper. I'll take some time today to discuss all of all these things. Econ paper. There are in A level econ paper, there are two papers that you have to face for. How many papers? Two papers. Right? Okay. One thing is paper one. Other one, paper two. You have to participate for the econ paper in two days. Amazing thing is, when you are going to the econ, uh, advanced level, I want to tell you that economics paper is your first paper. Therefore, before all of other subjects, you have to face for the econ paper. Okay? Then you can understand that if you can do econ paper really well, you have an added advantage in facing for the other subjects exams. Clear? Right. This is going to be paper one and paper two. Now understood? Right. We will see how it is going on. Paper one and paper two. All right. Fine. Please look at this. Paper one. Okay. Fine. Paper one has 50 MCQs. First of all, you need to know that how many hours that you have? How many hours? How many hours for the paper? Two hours. Very good. Two hours. Very good. That is 60 minutes. 60 minutes. 
60 minutes. 60 minutes, you know, maybe I have to go Right, minutes only got to 60, but you, I think you will say to two hours. Understood? Right. Paper two, how many hours? Three hours. In this two separate days. Clear? Paper two, sorry, paper one, if you take paper one, there are 50 MCQs. Right? 50 MCQs. 50 MCQs. For one question, how many uh, marks will be received? Two marks for one question. Altogether, total, how many marks then? 100 marks are allocated. This paper has part A and part B. Section A and section B. Part A, first question, second question, third question, fourth and fifth question. Here, fifth question, six, seven, eight, nine, and sorry, five, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All together, ten questions are there. Right? But you should not do all ten questions. Here, all 50 questions are compulsory. You have to answer all questions. Right, should answer all the questions. But here you can pick uh, only five questions. When you are picking the five questions, you have two options. One thing is, you know, the option is here. You need to select two questions from, sorry, you have to select at least two questions from one of these parts. At least, you know, two questions has to be selected from one part. Okay. All five questions has to be done. No? Then two questions. There are two options only. If you select two questions from here, you have to select three questions from here. Or if you select two questions from here, you have to select three questions from here. All together, five. Right? All together, five. Now understood. All together, five questions has to be answered. One question carries how many marks? Here, one question carries 20 marks. One question, 20 marks. One question, 20 marks. All together, uh, one question, 20 marks. How many questions to be done? Five questions. All together, you will get 100 marks. You will get 100 marks. Now, can you understand how many marks that you will get? 100 marks. Then from here, 100. From here, 100. You will get the marks out of 200. It would be divided by 2. To give you marks out of 100. You don't have the scene like that. Right. See, if you haven't done anything, any theory also, if you can answer for these questions, that is done. But you cannot do it like that. Okay. Fine. Then 50 MCQs. When you are when you are just facing for the 50 MCQs, you know that the first question, second question, third question, and fourth question is definitely coming from chapter 1. Chapter 1. And also here, in the paper two, first question, that is a part A, first question, it is coming from chapter one. For here, how many marks are available? 20 marks. Here, how many marks are available? For one question, uh, two marks. Then uh, four questions, two into four, eight. Eight plus here, 20, 28 out of 200 divided by two, 14%. 14 out of 100 will be received for you. Understood, guys? Okay. So then we have already completed chapter number 1. We are going to discuss the questions from chapter number 1. I gave you the battle paper number 1 from the first, tell me, from the first lesson. Clear? All right. No problems? Right. Clear, Neil? Right. Then we are going to discuss this question paper. Uh, then take the MCQ question paper. When you just look at the MCQ question paper, you can understand that hmm? in the MCQ question paper, we are going to do this MCQ question paper. In the MCQ question paper, I have given the first four questions. 
All right. Okay. Recently, we uh, you know that advanced level paper, advanced level examination was taken place. What is the advanced level examination that was taken place recently? A level 2023 advanced level paper. All right. Then recently it was taken place. I took first four questions. You know that anyway in the advanced level paper, first four questions are coming from first lesson. Therefore, I gave you those four questions to check your ability to face for this. All right. Okay. We'll see. Now take a piece of paper, as I told you, to do these ones. Um, when you are just doing the paper, when you are when you are participating for the paper discussion, you need to have this kind of a structure as well. What is it? Uh, there are here 25 questions are there. You have to write down the topic. Then battle paper. The Matik Karamu. Just write down. Battle paper. Always this K R exclusive battle paper number one. Here then put paper one. Make a Udi Malaga and marking scheme kill him, right? Osas answers. Right, you have to write down that and you just put paper one. Then this is the structure, very simple. Have this structure, have this structure here. QA, QA, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then write down this QA. Later on, when we discuss the questions in the other days, it is not compulsory for me to tell these ones. Okay, because you need to ready with this structure. Clear? Right. Q, A. Are you about 11, 12? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21. Is that we have to write down the answers? You know, write down the answers. Believe it or not, put them. Right? Format take it. Then after that, we'll start from the sketch here. First one. First question. Right. Anyway, uh, if, if there are workings later, you can just put the question number and do the workings. All right, Puda. The first question. Now we will look at the first question. Read the first question. Uh, right. All right. Look at the first question here now. Did you see the first question? Fine. Online cut here. Can you can you hear me properly? Just uh, put a message for the regarding the sound clarity and the video clarity. Put a uh, well, put a put a put a put a chat in the chat. You can mention it. Right. Okay. First question. Can you see the first question? Economic resources can be simply classified into mainly two categories. Right. Economic resources. Anyway, we classify. I told you. Ah, we discussed last week also uh, in the batch, new batch, right? Economic resources. Here, let's see economic resources. Non-economic and economic resources are there. Economic resources are divided into two. Sorry, mainly we discussed that four things are there called land. Tell me land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. 
then i told you that if you take the land it may be block of land sometimes uh, it may be right look at this it may be the capital like machines these two together we gave a name what is it these are called property resources mainly those two things can be classified as property resources more share kind of right we can take it as property resources can you see and also uh, see labor 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 and entrepreneurship is coming from whom it is coming from humans therefore we identify those as the human resources can you understand therefore if you want to classify the economic resources into two you can use property resources and human resources right i have given you in the tut in the uh, in the tut this kind of a kind of a diagram also to identify this okay right and because of that your answer has to be the fourth one here put fourth answer right just put a, put it separately and write down this graph also now work 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 better kar right just think that you are now in the gym you have to do the workout right you should not like just look at me and uh, okay okay looking at me and now ba puluwan na uganna hanko balanna wage because otherwise when you are just looking at this worksheet right because you are going to face for the exam after so many months later right so then once you just look at this uh, marking scheme you should be able to understand it very properly right that's a more that is the most important thing nabuda you have to improve yourself okay स्टेटस द राइट पता नहीं है ना और क्या ना बन then right okay right okay second question look at it what is the fundamental second question just read the second question now now if you just look at the second question here it is there uh second one what is the fundamental difference between needs and wants as analyzed in economics look at it needs and wants analyzed in economics you all know needs and wants we have discussed some fundamental differences regarding human needs human needs are the physical and mental conditions of the humans which are compulsory to be satisfied for the survival of the humans food shelter clothes those kind of things anyway if you take one human need like food there are various ways of satisfying that human need Various ways of satisfying that human need is called human want. Or again, the question again, Balan. 
then you get the answers. Needs are essential for the survival, while wants are desires. Correct, right? Human needs are essential, need to satisfy, like food, but human want is way of satisfying the food. You can need different kind of things, isn't it, Buddha? Okay. Then, when you are satisfying those things, we can identify that, right? Okay, different types of food. Different types of food is your desire. That is the first one is the answer. Right. I'm not going to discuss the other ones. If you think that, you know, uh, you have some other answers has been put and those are correct, you can tell me. I think that is easier. Therefore, for the second one, mark the answer. Answer number one here in this year, in your table, you can mark it. Next one. Three. Uh, next question. Look at it. Three points of the production possibility curve of a certain country that produce two goods X and Y is given below. X and Y is given below. Understood? Right. Then just look at that table. Then after that, just look at the question that they ask. According to this production possibilities data, it can be concluded that then before you do anything in this kind of question, you don't know what to do, no? Because they are telling, uh, it can be concluded that. What can be concluded? Just read the answers as well. Practice yourself to do the questions, right? Then you will get that. Uh, okay, they ask something like this. Then you can work on that. Let's say resources of this country, homogeneous, fine. They are telling homogeneous resources. That means production if the homogeneous resources are being used, product, uh, opportunity cost will be, behavior of the opportunity cost is constant. Understood. Likewise, the, the combination of uh, 2 to 3 and x to y, uh, those are unattainable, they have given. Achievable, uh, okay, achieve the combinations of the goods are, okay, different kind of things that they have given. Then you can understand, now, okay, now they are asking something, something. That's it. Don't try to read everything. And first one, they say that the production resources are homogeneous. Okay. Right. That means we have to check whether this is, uh, uh, this, this, in this production possibility curve, whether they are giving what, whether they are giving, whether they are reflecting in the production possibility curve, whether this production possibility curve reflecting constant opportunity cost. That means PPC has to be a linear curve. All right. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Look at the board now. Here, second one. Uh, sorry, third question. Né? Third question. Then look at this. They have given the production possibility. And they have given good dex. Then good y. Good dex, good y. Uh, right and point a point b point c this is how they that is being given three zero point a two three zero nine check whether this is constant opportunity cost or not how can you do that when you are just looking at that straight away you cannot see that this is a constant opportunity cost because here opportunity cost is anyway when the production of a one good is increase, right? Increase number of good foregone from the other good is called opportunity cost. Whether that number is equal or not, that is what we have to test. Clear? We will take it. Actually, then you have to take here marginal opportunity cost. Okay. Marginal opportunity cost is this number of units foregone from other good. When increasing the production of the particular good by equal number of units. Uh, sorry, by, by marginal opportunity cost, no. Then we have we are just looking at number of units foregone from the other good. When increasing the production of the particular good by one unit, then if you want to check the opportunity cost of Production of good X. We have to check number of goods sacrificed from good Y 
when the production of x is increased by another tell me another one unit understood right we'll see here actually production of x good d is increased by how many units here from here to here right from here to here we are increasing it by one or two one one sorry here decreasing by two one here decreasing by two this time we can say this is the increase ah then we can go with the y production as well no problem then if you can take this one y production right production of y is increased by three at that time in order to increase the production of y from a to b when you are moving from a to b production of y increased by three production of x decreased by how many units decreased by one can you understand then here from when we are moving from B to C, X good D is increased by how many units? 6. This is decreasing by how many units? Tell me. Huh? 2. Clear. Then we will check marginal opportunity cost. Marginal opportunity cost of uh, this time Y. Of Y. How to find out? Delta X. If it is y, number of it foregone is in the numerator, right? When you are increasing y, what you are sacrificing, Buddha? X. Then delta x divided by delta y. Ah, very simple. Delta x divided by delta y, right? That's how you find out the marginal opportunity cost. If you are finding out the marginal opportunity cost of y, sacrifice x, produce y. Right. Look at it. Then you can uh, take the answer like this. Here, you can take the marginal opportunity cost moving from here to here. Uh, we are sacrificing here, sacrificing 1 in order to produce 3. That means 0 0.33 recurrent. Here, what has happened? In order to produce uh, 6, sacrificing 2. What is the answer? Sacrificing 2, right. What is the answer? Tell me. 3, so 2 divided by 3. These two, these cancel. This is 1 and this is 3. 1 divided by 3 again, then 0 0.33333 recurrent. Clear? Marginal opportunity cost is same, same, equal. Can you see? When you are increasing the production of one good, production of Y good, number of unit sacrifice from the other good remain constant. Marginal opportunity cost is constant constant that means constant opportunity cost when there is a constant opportunity cost tell me the reason for creation of constant opportunity cost yes production resources has to be identical homogeneous same that means with the first one has to be the answer for this thing then can you understand they write down this quickly this is very slow start uh, I want to uh, tell you something for 2025 batch here. We have uh, started a uh, new batch as well. But in the new, with the new batch, we are doing still the basic economic concepts. And now we are doing production resources basically. But there is a batch we started just after your levels. For those, for those students, we have complete. Now we are in the second lesson. Those students only can understand these ones 100%. All right, guys? Is that understood? Right? Uh, <laughs> Other people need to tolerate. Right? I'm not asking you, don't come for the class here. This one, you can just come and wait. Okay? And just be there. But don't worry, in the next uh, class onwards, I'm going to discuss the KR. Uh, no, uh, after discussing this paper, we are going to discuss the KR stay tuned papers, KR exclusive stay tuned papers, then from the beginning. Then you all can participate for that one. First, is starting from the basic economic concepts as well. All right. Fine. Do this one quickly. Right. No, no. Write down, write down. Firstly, give the board. Finish.
uh, I told you how to do this one. Don't write down all of these things in your printed paper. That would be a mess. Okay, take a separate paper. Uh, put the answers here and do this one. Keep your paper blank. Then you can try it again. And it will be clear as well. I hope that you have completed this. Have you? Yes? Everybody? Fine. Now, we look at the next one. PPC. Right. Question number, sorry, question number four. Economic systems. Which economic system characterized by the state-owned capital and reliance of market allocation of resources. It's a special type of a market economic system. Uh, we discuss, you can remember, there are two special type of, uh, two main special type of market economic system. One thing is called socialist market economic system. Wonderful thing. Socialist market economic system. Socialist market economic system is socialist market economic system is basically a uh, property ownership is with the uh, one property ownership property property yeah property ownership is with uh, property ownership is with government right it is they say that ownership of capital relies you see state ownership of capital I told you, like China, there's a state ownership of capital, like buildings, lands are owned by the government. Government. But, but, you know that, even though it belongs to the government, government has allowed the people, come and just rent out these buildings, lease out these buildings, use these things. And they can do their own business by using those properties. Okay. It's kind of a wonderful thing. Then the private businesses are there. Private people can take the decisions. They can take the decisions as they want. They will, they will be working with the what? They will be definitely working with hmm, profit orientation. Right? Profit incentive. That means they are working like a market economic system. Got it, Buddha? Then it is price mechanism is working. It's a market economic system. Market allocate the resources, but state ownership of the resources is there. That is called socialist market economy. It is the answer number four. Clear? Right. Batch two people. Right. That is socialist economics. Answer number four. Right. Batch. Okay. Now, uh, Right. You can understand that uh, it is how it's happening. Then you need to see uh, these are the four questions that uh, we did. Actually, these qu four questions came in 2023. That's one people, right? Can you remember when we, uh, when I just uh, complete your theory part, this paper didn't come. But once you just look at that, once you do the theory parts, everything, so you could be do these questions very easily. The same theory part has come. And also, you don't need to study the tutor as well. You can study what? Notebook. I hope that you all have the notebook with you now. When I'm discussing the questions, I'm just referring those notebook. Understood? Right. Next one. Look at this. Question number five here. Now look at the question number five. Read. Fifth question. Which one of following? Which one of following? Uh, decide the slope of PPC. You all know slope of the PPC is equal to marginal opportunity cost. Then answer has to be what's the marginal opportunity cost here? 
Answer number five. Answer number five is your answer. Prepare this marking scheme. Right. Next one, six, six one. Potential output is determined based on. Potential output is determined based on. Potential. Potential output is determined based on. Remember, now look at the board. Potential output. When I, I have just told you, right? Potential output is reflected by P, P, C, no? Right. That is potential output O. o production possibility. Potential output or production possibility is determined based on two things. One thing is factor endowment. What is factor endowment? Number of resources of the economy. Other one factor productivity. Exactly. Factor productivity. That is ability of a one uh, resource to generate the output. Right. What is the answer? That is the answer here. Potential output is based on. Potential output is based on availability of resources. Exactly. That is fact endowment is how many resources are available. Other one, productivity. Then the first one is the answer. The first one itself, the answer is being given. Listen to me now. So you all guys, in the next day at least, just um, uh, you need to name your yeah. You need to re rename your yeah. Rename your uh, Zoom profile with your name and also care uh, ID number. All right, guys. Other day, other day. Now don't worry about it. Then when you're asking questions, I know. Right. Okay. Fine. Anyway, here third question is defined. Uh, okay, so uh, what is the question num answer number that you have a doubt? Then I can see that answer only. Right, we'll come into later third one. Uh, since they're asking question, we'll just discuss this one. Right, question number 10 now. No. Question number six we discuss. Question number seven now. Here. Look at question number seven. Question number seven and eight has to be uh, discussed. Sorry, has to be done with the diagram given. I think there is some small error has been taken place, but I don't think that uh, you have you have considered that because they say following diagram related to third and fourth question. It is not third and fourth. Anyway, it is uh, seven and eight, right? Seven and eight. Here, this is the Y good. This is the X good. You can take the PPC and you can see uh, this PPC as well be given. And the arrow has been given out. So that means the production possibility curve has been shifted to the right side. Right side shift it is. They say uh, production possibility uh, PPC from A to B is result from. They say A to B. I think they have given A as this PPC, B has this PPC. A to B, it's a, you know that production possibility curve reflect the production possibility of the economy. If production possibility of the economy can be increased, if the production possibility of the economy increases, what happened? Production possibility curve shift to the right. Increase the production possibility, then increase the production possibility curve as well. It can be taken place due to increasing the factor endowment and the factor productivity only. Okay. Then we will take the answers. Right. Look at the question answers now. First one, increasing investment of the economy. Increasing what? Investment of the economy. Investment is, we discussed. Investment is a process of generating capital assets to the country. Construction of building. Purchasing machine. Construction of harbors. 
Ah, that is called what? Investment. When the investment happens, what happens? Fact endowment increases. Available resources in the country will be increased due to increase the infrastructure and all. When investment is taken place, but that not only fact endowment, another one also taken place. Can you tell me what will be taken? Productivity also increases with the investment. Foreigners are investing in a new factories, new building, new research center. Then what happened? Can produce more because our technology also will be improved. Can you understand? Then your answer has to be the first one. Seventh one, first one. Investment increases. Question number eight. Movement from a point. Look at it. Uh, movement of a point. Uh, C to D. C is here. Look at the board. C is here. And D is here. Then it's moving from C to D. Moving from C to D. Can you see? Understood. Moving from C to D, you know. Moving from C to D means what is the thing that would be taken place? That means uh, I have told you anyway, the point of production shows actual production. Actual production, actual production means depending on how many resources that you use, even though the resource availability is there, out of that, how many resources are used? Other thing is how efficiently that is being used. Then it's moving from year to year means actual production has been increased. Or oh, employment level, number of resources which are employed also has been increased. Understood? It is also increased. Crystal clear? Clear. Ah, that is also increased. And another one, we can say, uh, in other words, we can say efficiency increase as well. But we will see the answers then one by one. Decrease in potential output. It cannot be taken place as the answer. Decrease in potential output because if the potential output is decreased, PPC will be changed. Increasing investment, no, increasing investment will affect to the resource availability and productivity. That is also not changed. Decrease in actual output, ah, actual output is indicated by the point. But here, actual output has been increased or actual output has been decreased. Actual output has been increased. Then you can see uh, actual output has been increased. Then the other one, decrease, then decrease in productivity. Productivity has been increased or productivity has been decreased here. Increased uh, as well, but anyway, the point show, doesn't show at that one. Huh? Increase in employment level, that is correct. Employment level has been increased. Therefore, fifth one has to be the answer for that question. Then put the fifth one as the answer for the eighth question. Question number nine. Question number nine. In your tute, it hasn't been printed well, but in the exam day, uh, we corrected that one. Right. Right. Look at this. Here it is question number nine. In the question number nine, PPC is oh, oh, question, question. Right. It in uh me paper print alane with the you know Zero and food. It has to be taken place like that. That one should be in this way. Huh? In your paper, y is here, x is here. That's the way. Right. Okay. 
this is a question that they ask. Then they say PPC of a hypothetical economy is given opportunity cost of increase the production of the goods. Uh, uh, and also the numbers are being given now. Uh, here 50, here 100 it is. Right. Then they give opportunity cost of increase in the production from X to Y. Right. X to Y. It is a movement from a point inside the PPC towards the PPC. And it is aligned with the 90 degree rule as well. No problem. Inside the 90 degree rule, it's increasing. Right. If it's a point moving from point inside the PPC towards PPC, we call it as What is it? Yeah. We call it as movement from point inside the PPC towards the PPC. We call it as decrease, uh, increase in the employment. But do you sacrifice anything? No, right? So production of both of the goods are increasing without sacrificing any other good. If this kind of a movement is there, we call it as, you know, there is no opportunity cost because production is increasing without sacrificing the other good. That means the opportunity cost is how much? One, two, three, four, one. It is zero. It is zero. Answer number A has to be the fifth one. Very nice. Clear. Right. Look at the next question as well. Question number 10. Right here, here, uh, it is not increasing the employment of the economy similar for increasing the factor endowment. Not exactly, it is not the same thing. Factor endowment increases, available resources are increasing. Like construction of uh, Matale Airport. Okay. But if the planes are not coming to the Matale Airport, actual uh, production is not increasing. But we have an airport. But if the planes are not coming, a bit of known airport, they come with you know, a payment, a payment known airport, they come with you know, have I end in it? Planes end at the employment take a very end in it. It is not increasing the employment of the country, similar to increasing the employment. Right. Okay. I think uh, you understood Buddha. Right, fine. We'll discuss the next question as well. Right? Okay, Buddha. Uh, look at the next question then. Um, all right. Uh, hi. Okay, diagram make me here, no? Tenth question. PPC is here, Z and X anyway. Here, yeah, question, look at the question in the screen. Uh, oh, man. Screen means uh, tuped. Okay, which one of uh, following combinations indicate increase in the production without 10 opportunity cost? Can you see? Without 10 opportunity cost. All right, without 10 opportunity cost. Right, then... Uh, look at those points which is given in there. Right. Look at it. One by one. Look at the board now. You can see which one of following combinations indicate the increase in production. Fine. Uh, without opportunity cost. Huh? It should be a movement of a point from inside the PPC towards the PPC. Then the opportunity cost becomes zero, right? One by one. From Y to Z. Okay, Y to Z, okay. But Y is here, Z is here. It is greater than what? 90 degree rule. That means from when you are moving from here to here, uh, 
then this production is increased, but this production is decreased. This side production decreased. Then uh, W two x anyway, it's a movement of a point uh, on the PPC towards a point on the PPC. Movement along the PPC won't reflect what opportunity. It, it reflect the opportunity cost. Reflect the opportunity cost, not zero opportunity cost, right? And from U to U to E Z, that's U to Z here. Moving, but it is more than 90 degree rule. Not the answer. Okay. Then X2 is W. X to W cannot be taken with movement along the PPC. But U to V, U to V, look at this. U is here. V is here. It's that movement is within 90 degree rule as well. Within 90 degree, it's moving. Within 90 degree. Because of that, both of the goods are increasing. Other good is not sacrificing. Any other good is not sacrificing. Can you understand? Therefore, answer has to be from U to V. That is your answer number five. Then question number 11. Clear, guys? No problems. Fine. You can see the next question, identify the correct statement. Identify the correct statement. Here, they are, the PPC is given and the points, it's going from this point to somewhere here. It is going from a point inside the PPC to a point inside the PPC. No problems. Right. Look at the board. Look at the board here. Uh, inside the PPC towards inside the PPC, but inside the PPC from a ins from a point inside the PPC to a point inside the PPC. But you can see that when you're moving from A to B, it's moving from a point inside the PPC towards PPC. That means production of both of the goods have been increased. Actual production has been increased. Employment level has been increased. Those things have been, you know, that demand also has been increased. That has to be the answer. Then the first one cannot be the answer. Development of the technology cannot be the answer. Increase the productivity cannot be the answer. Productivity increase means PPC increase. Increase in employment is there. That has to be the answer. Therefore, third one is the answer for question number 11. Question number 12. In order to achieve higher economic growth, in the future, the economy should focus on producing. I have taught you. Look at the board now again. You can remember I have given it like this. Right? Right. Economy can produce two types of goods. Board, board. Economy can produce two type of uh, two type of goods. Consumer goods and capital goods. Consumer goods and capital goods. Right? Economy can take any option. Here I'll take consumer goods this side. This side, capital goods. Can you remember? Right? Consumer goods. Capital goods, right? If there is two PPCs like this, I told you, uh, PPC can take a decision, sorry, the country can take a decision now. What's it? A country, if the country allocate more resources for the production of capital goods, more capital goods are produced. Capital goods are the goods which are used to produce another good. What type of goods? Machines? Yeah. Buildings? Right. Those goods can produce some other goods also. The capital goods means capital of the country will be increased. When the capital of the country is increased, what happened? Factor endowment is increased. We have more resources, can produce more goods. Then the potential production will be increased. When the potential production is increased, what happened? 
potential production increase, then PPC increase a lot in the future. But if the consumer goods are being produced with less capital goods, production possibility will be very lesser. We have discussed it. Then uh, if the country is focusing on higher economic growth in the future, that country need to focus on producing which good? Capital goods. Very good. That's it. Answer has to be the fifth one. Question number 13 now. Question number 13. Which one of following doesn't cause the rightward shift of PPC? 13. Rightward shift of PPC. Doesn't cause rightward shift of PPC. Right. We will look at it. What is not, uh, what is, what doesn't cause for the rightward shift of PPC. Right. Rightward shift. Right. Uh, rightward shift. Production possibility has to be increased. It is happening due to two reasons only. One thing is increasing the factor endowment. Other one is increasing the productivity. Factor productivity. Right. Doesn't cause it. it means yeah, first one increase in factor endowment. Second one increase in productivity. Third one increasing uh, investment. Fourth one uh, increase ut increase utilization of resources. Fifth one development of the technology. Then the answer has to be what? Fourth one. Why? Increase in the utilization of resources. That is available resources are more utilized. But the new resources are not coming to the country. Okay. The 13th, fourth one is the answer. 14th question. The 14th question, which one of following is considered as a factor of, sorry, factor of production, which is belongs to land. Land is natural resources. What is the answer? Forest, yeah, forest is nobody's decision. It is not a result of human uh, effort. Therefore, first is the answer. Uh, then the 14th one, it is very easy to get the first one as your answer. Question number 15. It is given as disadvantage of uh, central plan economic system. It has to be corrected. It has to be corrected. I think in the one class, when you are doing the paper in a one class, we haven't corrected. Right? It has to be advantage, but it has been given as the disadvantage. Now correct it as advantage. Since in a one examination whole, that answer, that question hasn't been corrected. I have decided I have to give free marks for all for this question. Then definitely you have a mark. You never, you will not get zero for this paper. Wonderful. Right. Fifteenth question. Advantage of the central planning economic system. Advantage. What is the advantage here? Inability to direct the economy with a long term vision. Inability. Thing. Inability. It is not an advantage. It is an advantage. The creation of externalities. Uh, actually, creation of externalities is not taken place in the central planning economic system. Therefore, it is wrong. Buru. Then, third one, non-production of public good. No, in the central plan economic system, we can see a production of uh, that, production of uh, public goods as well. Then, uh, we can say disparities in, uh, we can see the disparities in uh, income distribution. Can you see that disparities in income distribution? Uh, less disparities. Yes, 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 yes. In the central plan economic system, there is a less disparities because government control everything, government decide, then people can get the income by working to the government. Government will give, then all the people, theoretically all the people will become the government employees. Then government will give them a certain amount of salary. Basically, it is not equal to everybody. But there might not be that much of differences. Understood? That is the thing. Then the fourth one, 
answer has to be the fourth sorry 15th one answer has to be the fourth and the high competition also wrong no it cannot be seen then the fourth one has to be the answer for 15th question question number 16 now identify the correct statement identify the correct statement right we'll see here scarcity exists in the poor countries wrong it's there in the developed countries as well Second one, economic goods are decided based on the price uh, of that good. No, uh, whether, decided, whether there is a price or not, no. Some economic goods are also available for free of charge. Then supply of the renewable resources can change. Renewable resources, can it be changed? Supply. Uh, supply of the renewable resources, actually it can change, right? It can be increase sometimes it can be decrease as well but relatively supply will not be changed because if you look at uh, renewable resources let's say Buddha um, for example if you are just taking something from a as an extract from a tree or uh, if you take uh, some kind of let's say fish renewable Supply can be increased and decreased, but not decreasing continuously. But if you look at the sand, if you look at the crude oil, supply is decreasing. Understood? Because when we are using, nature cannot replace it. That particular problem is there with the third one. Anyway, fourth one, main function of the economic system is to produce the goods which are necessary to satisfy human wants. That is correct. Solving scarcity, right? That's okay. The fourth one, labor force consists of the people who are within the working age of the country. Uh, okay, within the working age of the country, it is also correct, but subjected to some small things are there. The podi podi owl theana. Uh, yes, then, then fourth one can be taken as the uh, most correct answer. We are going with the fourth one for the question number 16. We can go with the fourth. Uh, 17. Identify the correct statement. In the correct statement, this is very easy. Therefore, I'm not going to discuss every question. You can see the correct answer, correct statement as the fourth one. Economic studies, how economic study, how uh, limited resources can be used to satisfy the unlimited human wants fundamental problem that to solve in the economics is scarcity they're talking about that therefore fourth one is the answer for question number 17 right question number 18 which of following is correct regarding uh, regarding considering land as the economic resource as an economic resource um, here it is uh, okay we will discuss one by one all natural resources are considered as land that is correct. All natural resources are considered as land. Second one, all renewable and non-renewable resources are considered as land. Yes, land. All natural resources divided into two. Called renewable resources, non-renewable resources. That is also correct. Third one, all, uh, all the resources which are provided for free of charge is considered as land. Uh, that is incorrect. But I make incorrect take a thor under the name. Put a case at the know that is incorrect. Ah, come on, put a kino a correct one. Okay, that is incorrect here. Uh, all resources which are provided for free of charge is considered as land. It put a cut, you know, look at that land. All the non uh, economic resources here. All the non-economic resources are for free, no? All the non-economic resources are but land the limited like uh, sea water that is also land. Keep it for but with
testing testing me me lam your name Right. Hari, uh, how long have you been? Uh, then Hari, then Hari, right? Then inelastic, kela the inelastic means this kind of thing. It is called inelastic. Actually, can do you think that the land can be inelastic? Or oh, land can be elastic when the price of something, let's say, when the price of sand. Which we are taking from the river, when the price of the sand increase, do you think that the suppliers can supply more sand? No. Right. Regarding some things can, but most of the things can't. So this is also definitely incorrect. That is also not the answer. Clear? Elastic can the back. Then uh wrong when for free kya ne kabuta ek hari vage pe una most of the time ek ne kya ne mein mein all the resources which are provided all the resources which are provided for free is considered as land obviously it is wrong right uh, because some resources like block of land sand is not anyway provided for free of charge there is a owner for that right okay then question number nineteen here. Opportunity cost. Opportunity cost. Question number 19. Opportunity cost. Question number 18. What's the answer then? Third one. Question number 19. Opportunity cost is not, not included in. Not included in. We'll see. Equipments which is provided by a fisherman. By a fisherman after a disaster. Sorry. Equipment which provided to a fisherman after a disaster. After tsunami, government has decided to give them the boats. Boats, they know. Tsunami, tsunami, anath, anath, well. Then, you know, I go under boats. When, when we give boats, what will happen? Shock, nail. But is there an opportunity cost? Yes, exactly. Then, water which is distributed through the irrigation system, through the canal system, is there an opportunity cost? Yes. We can use it for some other things as well. Providing electricity by using hydropower plant. Uh, that one can be used only for that purpose. Other thing is when hydropower plant is being constructed. Okay, Buddha. Hydropower plant will be just connected to some kind of a waterfall. No? That water is not being used by, used to produce the uh, hydropower, they will they will take only hydropower plant will take the speed of the water flow, but the water will not be taken. The water will be going. Oh, opportunity cost is very less. Oh no, we'll take it. Otherwise, uniform provided for the university students, it is there is an opportunity cost. Uh, subsidies which are provided to the producers who produce who are producing goods with a positive impact. The I is the opportunity cost of that when it is being given. Third one is the most correct answer out of the answers which is given. Most correct answer. Most correct. You have to go with the most correct answer. That is the third one. <clears throat> for question number 19. Question number 20 now. Which one of following is not a productive resource? What's productive resource? It's another name for economic resource. Discuss. It's another name for economic resource. Land, sorry, labor answer, right? Labor is uh, land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. What's the other answer here? Management. Management is not being considered at here. Management is a factor which increases the productivity. That's how we identify it. Clear? Yeah? Then the third one is the answer. Look at question number 21. Interesting. Right. You have, so if the interest for savings is 10%, 
find the value of the opportunity cost of having a savings deposit of 100,000. You have decided to save 100,000 of money. 100,000 of money you have decided to save in the bank. Then you will get what? Interest. You will get the interest. Right? Uh, for a year, this into 10%. How much would that? Into 10% means? 10% So you have to cut. One zero from here. Then now says? Huh? Thousand. You will get thousand. It is ir irrelevant. Because that is the benefit of the, your choice. They say, if you just put this money, what you will lose? This is what you will get. You have hundred thousand of money. Wow. You can deposit in a bank and you can get ten thousand. That's one option, one alternative. What is another alternative? By using 100,000. You will spend the body to purchase the goods and services. But when you deposit in the fixed deposit, you will lose the opportunity of Bolivage in the then what is the answer? Decrease in the consumption of the first year of 100,000. First year with the right. Because once you just deposit the first year, the first year, you can eat after one year. Right? Because you can take the money and use it. And at that time, you have taken this 10% uh, of interest as well. Wonderful. We will look at the next one. Question, the answer for that one is the third one. Then one. Next one. Question number 22. Which one of following cannot considered as capital in economics? Capital in economics. Remember, money is not considered as capital. Huh? Man-made resources which are used for production are only considered as capital. The which one of following cannot considered as capital in economics? Tell me the answer. Household savings. It's just money. It's not capital. Fourth one is the answer. Question number 22. 22 fourth. Okay. 21. Third. 20. Third. 19. Third. Third. 18. Third. 17. Hello. Question number 23. Result of specialization. When the people are specialized, definitely division of labor, specialization will definitely increase productivity. Last week we discussed in the uh, here Monday class, project Tibba class as well. Mampeno uh, Charlie Chaplin video came. Productivity increase. Right? Productivity was increased. Fourth one is the answer. Next one. Fourth one. Which of following can be considered as the correct statement regarding utilization of opportunity cost? Utilization of opportunity cost. Um, okay. Inadequ uh, sorry. Regarding the utilization, resource utilization and opportunity cost. Huh? Inadequacy of the resources to fulfill the human want. It is scarcity. Yeah. That is true. Eka, hari, correct statement. Eka. Inadequacy of the resources to fulfill the human want is called scarcity. It's a correct statement. But achieve a production level which is below the optimum level. Uh, below the optimum level is there is no opportunity cost. Opportunity cost. Eka. Maintain the constant opportunity cost. No. Uh, opportunity cost. Uh, increase in the opportunity cost. With increase in production, then achieve the production level which is below the potential level. Potential level, like what? Do you know that PPC ke me di ni? Opportunity cost take atna ni me di ano? There is no opportunity cost here. The correct statement regarding resource utilization opportunity cost is inadequacy of the resources to fulfill the human wants. 
Ah, that means the resources are not in not adequate. All the resources have been used. Therefore, most correct answer has to be the first one. Then, right? And then the first one. Let you go with the first one. Look at the 24, 25th answer. 25th question. Basically, that is your last question in the paper. 25th. A person, one person purchased a lottery by spending 20 rupees. He had two options earlier uh, to get air ticket worth of 300 rupees. Uh, air ticket 300,000. 300 rupees, one option. Or get uh, listen to me, Buddha. Actually, air ticket, air ticket. This is air ticket, right? Air ticket take with Air ticket can take air ticket and go on the trip. Or he can take two hundred and fifty into your head. What is the so? If he decided to take the air ticket, look at the board, 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 board. Now, air ticket is. The best option O oh, choice. But this is what he sacrificed. This is the value of the next best alternative for God. Therefore, we consider this one as the opportunity cost of this activity. Clear? If we select the air ticket, opportunity of taking 250 will be lost. Therefore, they can give simply, they can simply give the answer as he will lose 250. Then answer has to be here third. Look at the time. Right. Okay. Did you understand? answer sheet. On file. Understood. Next one, next day, we are going to discuss this second paper questions. We are the Harida and you are going to discuss. Right. I don't think by the end of the break at the end of the 10 15 with the right. I put a kid meeting a cut here. Break it up. Hi, questions aren't put down. Looking at here, one of the one people questions. Saha, you can just, you have to, you all need to give me a comment. You all need to give me a comment. Right. Okay. Uh, and also uh, comment on the, whether I have done it very fast or not. Uh, so you have to send me a WhatsApp message with that. Then I can just uh, slowly, you know, I can take uh, time and uh, do that part. Right. Ah, okay. With another message, done. okay, fine. And you can put a message in the WhatsApp as well, right? Um, all right, Buddha. Fine. Okay, then. Uh, fine. Okay. So we'll 